Okay, I'm here today at 1633 Wembley Hills Boulevard, and we're looking at a lawn. It's broken up into a lot of different areas. Um, this is the prime front area right here, or a portion of it. There's a small area uh, in the within the uh, the semicircle drive, and then another small area on the other side. But this particular portion of the prime lawn is is really uh, thinned uh, substantially. Uh, it's not well hydrated right now, which uh, just kind of magnifies the effect of the lawn being just in general thin here. This area here is almost bare. Um, <clears throat> the lawn hasn't been watered apparently in a while. As I was walking about and collecting cores for my sample to send to the lab, I was only able to penetrate into the soil uh, around two inches. That was that was pretty much pretty that was pretty typical to only be able to get two inches down. There's some areas here that are in partial shade, uh, but again, the lawn is broken into a lot of different sections, a lot of weaving in and out of a lot of valuable ornamentals which will require a certain amount of care or a, a, a tremendous amount of care again here's a very thin area and uh, the homeowner expressed some concern that the way that the lawn was being treated the particular application the device was maybe uh, causing material to be thrown into some sensitive shrubs that were being damaged by it so part of our promise is to uh, to manually treat this by walking and applying without uh, that type of equipment which we always do nonetheless a beautiful pool area no turf in there though but uh, again areas of the lawn here are thin there aren't there aren't really any weeds to speak of or basically just dealing with a, a turf that's that's in pretty much in decline um, we just need to do some rejuvenating here and the soil test is of course going to give us some really useful information there may be some some chronic deficiencies here that that uh, have resulted in, in the decline there are a few portions where it, it looks it's adequate and uh, looks actually good. Uh, the other areas, though, are, are fair and poor along this boundary line between the client and the neighbor. is really thinned. And here's the yellowing that the homeowner described, described that she was concerned about. Uh, I don't think it's chlorosis as much as it's just the blade, <coughs> the, the turf blades folding in on themselves and uh, beginning to dehydrate. So this is again a continuation of the lawn. This is a very large lawn. It's on two lots. We're looking at it somewhere between 20 and 25,000 square feet here. And this is the other portion of the front. It's in better condition. But again, everywhere that I tried to pull cores, I was only able to penetrate about two inches. Ended up having to pull about 40 cores to get a good cup of soil. So that would be some advantage to have a much more representative sample. So that's all. I'm out.